Hey guys, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome to Love Month, where we're gonna watch some love stories. Not only love stories, don't worry, we still got some Star Trek in here, we still got some President's Day movies, so those are gonna be fun. But I did a romantic classic poll. So pre-1970 romantic movies. And we did two polls, eight on each, and the top two went to a bigger poll. And the winner was Singing in the Rain, which I watched and it has been stuck in my head for weeks. I showed my kids the soundtrack and they had actually watched the movie with their grandparents, so that was kind of fun. I did a little whoopsie-daisy. When I put the top two from the one poll, I misread the results and put actually the third place instead of the second place. And the second place was It Happened One Night. So we'll never know what truly would have won that poll. But I thought the only fair thing to do is just watch It Happened One Night anyways. It's uh, one that's been requested a lot. I just saw that it's from 1934, so that's gotta make it one of the earliest movies I've watched. I think the original Robin Hood might have been a little bit earlier. It's even before Wizard of Oz, I think. So I'm pretty sure it's in black and white. I have no idea who is in it or what it's about, but I'm ready to be swept off my feet by a classic love story. So if you wanna vote on polls like this, and hang out with some movie lovers. Not to mention get full length reactions and early access. Here's my Patreon, don't forget to like, subscribe. Clark Gable, I've heard that name. She hasn't had a thing yesterday or today. Send her meals up to her regularly? Yes, sir. Well, why don't you jam it down her throat? I'm not going to eat a thing until you let me off this boat. Oh, come now, Ellie. You know I'll have my way. Not this time you won't. I'm already married to him. But you're never going to live under the same roof with him. Can't you get it through your head that King Wesley and I are married? King? Would it interest you to know that while you've been on board, I've been making arrangements to have your marriage annulled? I thought I told you not to bring any food in here. Now, wait a minute. This isn't for you. You married him only because I told you not to. You've been telling me what not to do ever since I can remember. Is this her dad? You've always been a stubborn idiot. I come <gasps> from a long line of stubborn idiots. Well, have a nice piece of juicy steak. She's serious. <gasps> Ellie! Ellie! Ellen! Are they parked? Get away from us, sir. Of course she got away. She's too smart for you. Daughter escaped again. Watch all roads, airports, and railway stations in Miami. Again. New York, Philadelphia. We're wasting our time. Can you imagine Ellie Andrews riding on a bus? Here's your ticket. Thank you very much. Ellie Andrews. So she must be, um, famous? And you wouldn't know a newspaper story if it reached up and kicked you in the pants. That was free verse, your gas house beluga. Gordon, huh? did you know he reversed the charge on that call? What? Why, you? When you get back to New York, you keep far away from this office. You're fired. So you're changing your tune, eh? <laughs> I wouldn't go back to work for you if you begged me on your hands and knees. Well, I guess he knows now how I feel about his job. I'll bet he does. And now the king's back. He's got to get the back. Goodbye, Terry. Is this... The king that she married? Make yourself comfortable with a pleasant pillar. Pillar? <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Huh? What's the idea of throwing them out? You know, it's a long story, my friend. I never did like the idea of sitting on newspapers. Nobody bought a paper that day. They just followed me around over town and read the news off the seat of my pants. What you need's a good sock on the nose. I don't think that's the king. You may not like my nose, but I do. Oh, yeah? Now, that's a brilliant answer. Oh, yeah? If you keep that up, we're not going to get anywhere. Oh, yeah? You got me. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Excuse me, lady, but that upon which you sit is mine. I beg your pardon? I put up a stiff fight for that seat. Scram. Are these seats Ooh. reserved? No. Nah. Scram? Move over. He's pleasant. Next time you drop in, bring your folks. <laughs> Rest station, 15 minutes. So, <clears throat> she's from a famous family, I think, but probably not recognizable as a celebrity. And this guy, why does he have such a little fan club? If he's just a, not just a, but is he like a famous newspaper? writer 
he got away. I suddenly found myself in the middle of brush and not a sign of the skunk. I don't know what you're raving about, young man. And furthermore, I'm not interested. Well, maybe you'll be interested to know your bag's gone. Oh, my heavens, it's gone. Well, what am I going to do now? Don't tell me your ticket was in it. Got that all right, but not my money. I'll tell the driver about your bag. No, thank you. I'd rather you didn't. But don't be a fool. You've lost your bag. The company ought to make good. She's running away. Would you please keep out of my affairs? I want to be left alone. Why, well, you ungrateful brat. This reminds me of, I took a mega bus once for $4 from New York to Boston. It was actually exactly like that. <laughs> Jacksonville, 30 minutes for breakfast, folks. How long is this bus ride? It's 30 minutes for breakfast, that's all. Oh. Oh. And... <laughs> We're in Jacksonville, aren't we? Yes. 30 minutes for breakfast. Why didn't you shove me away? Oh, I hated to wake you up. No, I, I'm going to the Windsor Hotel. Hey, you'll never make it in time. We leave in half an hour. No, they'll wait for me. I'm going to be a few minutes late. Be sure to wait for me. Oh, yeah? Yes. That's... Oh. Wait, where's the bus to New York? Why, it left about 20 minutes ago. Oh, but that's ridiculous. I was on that bus. I told them to wait. She's used to getting what she wants, I think. What time's the next bus? 8 o'clock to 9. That's 12 hours. I'm sorry, miss. What's the matter? Wouldn't the old meanies wait for you? I missed it, too. Don't tell me you did it on my account. I hope you haven't any idea that what happened last night is... Now, look here, young man. Young man. Here's your ticket. My ticket? Found it on the seat. Thank you. It, it must have fallen out of my purse. You'll never get away with it, Miss Andrews. <gasps> your father will stop you before you get halfway to New York. You must have me confused with someone else. Quit kidding. It's all over the front page. Ellen Andrews escapes. Girl swims ashore. I've always been curious to know what kind of a girl would marry a front-page aviator like King Wesley. Front-page aviator. That guy's a phony. I didn't ask for your advice. That's right. You didn't. You're not going to notify my father, are you? Probably could get some money out of him. If you promise not to do it, I'll pay you. I'll pay you as much as he will. I've got to get to New York without being stopped. You're in a jam, and all you can think of is your money. Ouch. It never fails, does it? Ever hear of the word humility? No, you wouldn't. Well, let me tell you something. Maybe it'll take a load off your mind. You don't have to worry about me. I'm not interested in your money or your problem. You, King Wesley, your father, you're all a lot of hooey to me. Well, tell me how you really feel. To Joe Gordon. In care of New York Mail, New York. The biggest scoop of the year just dropped in my lap. I know where Ellen Andrews is. No. Do you really? Go on, go on, send a telegram. She reads. Bus leaving for Savannah, Charleston, Columbia, Greensboro. <laughs> He likes his job. My name's Shapley. Might as well get acquainted. It's going to be a long trip. Gets tiresome later on, especially for somebody like you. You look like you've got class. Yes, sir. <laughs> Ask any of the boys. They'll tell you. Shapley sure knows how to pick them. <laughs> yes, sir. You made no mistake sitting next to me. Just between us, the kind of mugs you meet on a hop like this ain't nothing to write home to the wife about. Okay. What's the matter, sister? You ain't saying much. How's she going to get out of this? You know, there's nothing I like better than to meet a high-class mama that can snap back at you. Okay. Now, you're just my type. Fun on the side, shapely, they call me. Uh, With accent on the fun. There's a seat over there for you. I'd like to sit next to my wife. Come on, come on. He rescued her. If you promise not to snap my head off, I'd like to thank you. I didn't do it for you. The voice gets on my nerves. <laughs> oh, we're going to go to enemies, to lovers. You had four dollars last night. How do you expect to get to New York at the rate you're going? That, that, that's none of your business. You're on a budget from now on. <laughs> a minute, Shut you up. can't. <gasps> Didn't love that. Bridge wash out. Yeah, it looks like we can't get through the morning. See those lights? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, thanks, auto camp. Auto camp? Hey, Brad. Are you talking to me? Yeah, come on, we're stopping here for the night. Are you talking to me? <laughs> hey! He's taking care of her. He can't help himself. Please tell me there's only one bed. Oh. I just had the unpleasant sensation of hearing you referred to as my husband. I forgot to tell you about that. I registered as Mr. and Mrs. What am I expected to do? Leap for joy? 
Well, I kind of half expected you to thank me. Your ego is absolutely colossal. Whatever gave you any idea I'd stand for this? For what? If you're nursing any silly notion that I'm interested in you, forget it. You're just a headline to me. You're not a newspaper man, are you? Chalk up one for your side. You want to get to King Wesley, don't you? I'm here to help you. What I want is your story. I need that story. Just between you and me, I've got to have it. And what's in it for her? If you get tough, I'll just have to turn you over to your old man. Savvy? Ooh. Now that's my whole plot in a nutshell. If you behave yourself, I'll see that you get to King Wesley. If not, I'll just have to spill the beans to Papa. Well, I don't know. Blackmailing's the best, uh... Ooh. I have the strongest desire to just crawl into that bed and fall asleep to the sound of the rain. Behold the walls of Jericho. Now, just to show you my heart's in the right place, I'll give you my best pair of pajamas. Uh, perhaps you're interested in how a man undresses. Quite a study in psychology. No two men do it alike. You know, I once knew a man who kept his hat on until he was completely undressed. Oh. You no, know, I have a method all my own. Uh, if you'll notice, the coat came first, then the tie, then the shirt. Now, uh, according to Hoyle, after that, the uh, pants should be next. There's where I'm different. I go for the shoes next. <laughs> She's kind of stuck. Why doesn't her husband come get her? Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? The big bad wolf. She gonna get in his pajamas? I wish you'd take those things off the walls of Jericho. Oh, excuse me. Thinking about being nice to her now, aren't you? Oh, those pajamas look comfy too. You must be tired. Who are you? Who, me? I'm the whippoorwill that cries in the night. I'm the soft morning breeze that caresses your lovely face. You've got a name, haven't you? Yeah, I got a name. Peter Warren. Peter Warren. Peter Warren. I don't like it. <laughs> no sign of your daughter yet. We'll continue to do everything possible. Oh, I hope she's all right, sir. All right? Of course she's all right. She looks like a doll. Hey, mister. Oh, hello. Oh, it's a toothbrush, thanks. My dress, you you had it pressed. Come on, come on. Breakfast will be ready here in no time. You, you're kind of little, aren't you? Where's the shower? Your hair's cute like that. You should never comb it. I'll find it myself. Oh, this is the line. I'm concerned the bus is gonna leave without her again. Sorry about last night. Didn't know you was married to that guy. You should have told me right off. <laughs> one A, one donut, black coffee. That's your ration to lunch. No complaints. She's so happy this morning. What makes you so disgustingly cheerful this morning? <sighs> Not been a spring. I thought maybe believe you me told you a couple of his snappy stories. Oh no. He apologized for last night. Said he didn't know we were married. Shows you how wrong a guy can be. <laughs> You, you think this whole business is silly, don't you? I mean, running away and everything. That's too good a story. You think I'm a fool. Perhaps I am, although I don't see how I can be. I've always been told what to do and how to do it and when and with whom. That's true. This is the first time I've ever been alone with a man. Nurses, governesses, chaperones. Oh, one consolation, you can never get lonesome. It has its moments. It's become a sort of game tried out with father's detectives. Actually, when shopping without a bodyguard, oh, I felt absolutely immoral. But it didn't last long. They caught up with me in a department store. I ran out the back way and jumped into the first car I saw. Guess who was in it? King Wesley was in it. Is that how you met him? We rode around all afternoon. Father was frantic. Say, where'd you learn to dunk? In finishing school? Oh, now, don't you start telling me I shouldn't dunk. Of course you shouldn't. You don't know how to do it. Dunking's an art. Perhaps <laughs> I tell you there's no bell by that name here. Besides, how do I know you're a detective? <gasps> detectives. Oh, Peter, what do I do? Get yourself all bust up. Get your pajama on your eyes and neck. Get yourself right. dressed. I got a letter from Aunt Bella last week. Uh, the baby's new met due next month. They want us to come. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. She saw your uh, sister on the street the other day. I hope Aunt Bella has a boy, don't you? Grandma says it's going to be a girl, though. What's your name? Are you addressing me? Hide your face. What do you want, anyway? Looking for somebody. They can't come busting in here shooting questions of my wife. Well, you don't have to lose your temper. You don't have to lose your temper. That's what they said the other time, too. Every time I try to protect you. <laughs> in and out of brains in your whole family. Oh, Peter, Ooh. what you've got for them, I won't fear you. Oh, oh shut up. Right. Quick baller, <laughs> quick baller. <laughs> 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 Quick baller. <laughs> you're just like a in five minutes. Bus leaves in five minutes. Oh. <laughs> 
They had to work together as a team. Have I got a story? Stop. It's getting hotter and hotter. Stop. Hope you're the same. <laughs> if you accept another one of these, you're fired. And that gives me a good idea for all of you. I want action, Lovington. Actually, can't do the impossible, Mr. Adams. Well, my daughter is somewhere between here and Miami. Now, I want her phone. Something might have happened to oh, her. I don't Brown, I want you to make arrangements for a radio broadcast. Offer a reward of $10,000 for any information <gasps> leading to her whereabouts. Uh, oh. Oh. Shapely. Who's singing? Oh. And I tried all She's probably I never seen anything like this. What would people act like if this happened on a modern day bus? <gasps> Maybe not. Maybe they'd like it. What happened to your money? Well, I spent it all in the tickets. We didn't know it was going to be so much. <laughs> we shouldn't have come, I guess. Why <laughs> said there was a job waiting for in New York. The next town we come to, you buy some food. Don't come up. Poor thing. Traveling like this, you kind of lose track of what's going on in the world. Take that story there, for instance. If I was to see that dame, you know what I'd do? I'd go 50-50 with you. Because I don't believe in hogging it, see? A bird that figures that way always ends up behind the eight ball. Come again? Let's get away from this gang. Talk this thing over privately. I can use a smart guy like you. Say, listen, when you're talking to old man Shapley, you're talking you to... You take a get? A get, a get. Rod. Well, it's all right. I got a couple of machine guns in my suitcase. I'll let you have one. I may have a little trouble up north to have to shoot it out with the cops. But if you come through all right, those five Gs are as good as in the bag. Maybe more. What? You're not kidnapping her, are you? Well, what else, stupid? Ten thousand bucks? Psst. Chicken feet. He's pretty good on his feet. What's the matter? You getting yellow? You're into this thing and you're staying in, get me? You know too much. Trust me, mister. I'll keep a mouth shut. Yeah? What's your name? Oscar Shapley. Got a couple of kids, huh? Yes, sir, just babies. Oh, you wouldn't. You're not thinking... You'll of... keep your trap shut, all right? <laughs> come on, hurt? come on, scram. And stay away from that bus. Sure, any, anything you say, mister. Oh. He's gonna leave him out here in the wilderness? At the rate he's going, he's probably crossed two state lines by this time. Say, why did we have to leave the bus? Well, when Shapley stops running, he's going to start thinking, isn't he? I've been doing a little thinking myself. This town we come to, you better wire your father. What's the matter? Are you weakening? I was just thinking of you. Did you give that child all your money? I didn't give him anything. You were the big-hearted gal. All the money I had was that 10 spot. I started out for New York, and I'm going to get there if I have to starve all the way. Get up on that log. Huh? Get up on the log. Huh? We're not going back on the bus? You know, this is the first time in years I've ridden piggyback. This isn't piggyback. Of course it is. You're crazy. I remember distinctly my father taking me for a piggyback ride. Your father didn't know beans about piggyback riding. <laughs> He's right, that's not a piggyback. I bet there isn't a good piggyback rider in your whole family. I never knew a rich man yet who could piggyback ride. My father was a great piggybacker. <laughs> oh! Oh! Um... We're out of money. We're not going to sleep out here, are we? Well, how about you? But I'm going to give a fairly good imitation of it. I'm hungry and scared. You can't be hungry and scared both at the same time. You're scared, it scares the hunger out of you. Pretty much how I live my life. I get my clothes all wrinkled. Then take them off. What? All right, don't take them off. Do whatever you please, but shut up about well, it. Oh, he's hangry. That would be so itchy. Snap my head off every time I open my mouth. If being with me is so distasteful to you, you can leave. Nobody's holding you here. Peter? Oh, Peter! 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 Oh, Peter! What's the matter? I'm so scared. What's that into you? Here, oh. here, eat your head off. I don't want it now. I thought you said you were hungry. I was, but... But what? Then she got more scared. You just scared the... Holy jumping catfish. You'd drive a guy crazy. Maybe you should... Eat something, Peter. You're not in you when you're hungry. I have to get chilly before morning. Better use this.
It's a moment. What are you thinking about? A strange coincidence. I was thinking of you. I was just wondering what makes dames like you so dizzy. What does that mean? Mean or nice? Dizzy like, ooh, you make me dizzy or dizzy like. Mm. You got a toothpick, a hay in my teeth. No, I haven't got a toothpick here. I got a penknife. Oh, okay, can't hold still. Oh, be careful. Where, where is it? Mm. Right. Uh, in the middle. Right there. Hmm, thanks. Hey, you should have swallowed that. You're not going to have any breakfast, you know. What are you eating? Carrots. Raw? Mm hmm. Mm, I hate the horrid thing. I love raw carrots. So suppose nobody stops for us, huh? All oh, that old thumb, see? That's a short, jerky movement like this. Yeah, but number two, that's a little wider movement. Smile goes with this one like this. Yeah, number three, that's a pip. That's a long, sweeping movement like this. Oh, that's amazing. I'm going to use number one. Keep your eye on that thumb. I still got my eye on the thumb. <laughs> <laughs> You better try number three. Do you mind if I try? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. I'll stop a car and I won't use my thumb. What are you going to do? Just kidding. <laughs> Prove once and for all that the limb is mightier than the thumb. Why don't you take off all your clothes? You're going to stop 40 cars. If I was young, that's the way I'd spend my honeymoon. It's hiking down the highway. I bet he's pretty disappointed. He stops for the stocking and gets a married couple. What were you going to do? Go dig that guy for a meal? Sure I was. No fooling. I'm hungry. Eat a carrot. I'm going in now. You do and I'll break your neck. Excuse? Sorry? I'm sorry. I. Oh, that's all right. He's hangry. Get the car. Oh, I gave him a black eye for it. I had to tie him up to a tree. Where's the lady's car? I mean. Can't be much gas left in this thing. Gotta start promoting some. Gotta take the things out of the pocket with that coat. Now what? I don't like you, never have, never will. Ellie and I got married because we love each other. This is King Wesley. I guess I'll just have to get used to you. Well, you can help now. I've got a room full of reporters in there. He is not as cute as the other guy, and he looks like her father's age. And that if she returns, I won't interfere with your marriage. He finally agreed to let us have a cabin. What about the money? He thinks we're staying a week. We'll have to think something up before morning. Well, that's swell. Well, if you ask me, I think it's foolish. I told you there's no use of our staying here tonight. We can make New York in three hours. I thought you were in such a hurry to get back. Well, whoever heard of getting in at three o'clock in the morning? Everybody will be asleep. She doesn't want her trip to end. She saw the newspaper article. Tomorrow morning, you'll be in the arms of your husband. You'll have a great story, won't you? Is it true that in the olden days, married people slept in separate beds next to each other like this. I think they need to have a DTR. Heart to heart. Well, you find the relationship. Your father. DTR. I guess you ought to be happy. Am I going to see you in New York? Nope. Why not? That was so matter of fact. Don't make it a policy to run around with married women. There's no harm in your coming to see us. Not interested. Won't I ever see you again? What do you want to see me for? I've served my purpose. I brought you back to King Wesley, didn't I? King. First name King. Wait, is she actually married, though? Have you ever been in love, Peter? It seems to me you you could make some girl wonderfully happy. Sure, I've thought about it. Who hasn't? Somebody that's real, somebody that's alive. They don't come that way anymore. I never thought about it. I've, I've even been sucker enough to make plans. I saw an island in the Pacific once. Never been able to forget it. That's where I'd like to take her. Nights when you and the moon and the water all become one. You feel you're part of it, something big and marvelous. That's the only place to live. Why, the stars are so close over your head, you feel you could reach up and stir them around. Hey, I've been thinking about it. Really it's sweet. sweet. Take me with you, Peter. Take me to your island. I want to do all those things you talked about. You'd better go back to your bed. 
I love you. Nothing else matters. We can run away. Everything will take care of itself. Please, Peter, I can't let you go out of my life now. I couldn't live without you. Give her, give her something, Peter. You'd better go back to your bed. Does it feel it? Sorry. Hey, Brad, did you mean that? Would you really go? Um... All I'm asking is enough gas to get me to New York. I ain't got a hat. Well, you got one now. Come on, fill her up. Well, well, Lafitte, the way you've been all this time, everybody been asking about you. Give me one drink. Go away, buddy, to serve me for the next half hour. Don't go in there. He'll shoot you on sight. I haven't been shot at in day. Did he leave her? Those wires I sent you were on the level. It's the biggest scoop of the year. All I want is a thousand bucks. A thousand bucks, Joe. This is something you gotta do for me. I need a thousand bucks and I need it quick. What's a thousand bucks for? To tear down the walls of Jericho. Supposing I was to tell you that Ellen Andrews is going to have her marriage and no, she's going to marry somebody else. Would an exclusive story like that be worth a thousand bucks to you? Yeah, if it was on the level. I got it, Joe. Who's the guy she's gonna marry? I am, Joe. You? Yeah. Now I know you're drunk. Now I'm going home. Don't annoy me anymore. Oh. I met her on a bus coming from Miami. I've been with her every minute. I'm in love with her, Joe. She's waiting for me in an auto camp just outside Philadelphia. You know, a guy can't propose to a gal without a cent in the world, can he? What a story. On our way to join husband, Ellen Andrews. That's it, that's it. Let me see that a minute. I told you. I told you you couldn't trust him. He's gone. Well, that fellow was going to stay here a week. That's who. We wouldn't know a thing about it till morning if I hadn't took that magnesia. Oh! <gasps> oh, no. See that? They're gone. Ma, here's the woman. Oh, isn't he here? No, he ain't. The car's gone, too. You will have to get. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Thanks, pal. You saved my life. OK, Pete, so long, kid. Good luck. Thanks. Hold up the morning edition. Break down the No. I want a cartoon, and I want it quick. King Wesley's in it. He's waiting at the church with uh, tears streaming down his face. Yeah, what is it? Huh? Ellen Andrews? She phoned her father from an auto camp for him to come right out and get her. He's getting a police escort, and Wesley's going along, too. Yeah, she's been traveling by bus. The moment she found out that her father and Wesley made up, she phoned right in. OK, grab a car and stay with him. Hey, forget what I just told you. Just having a nightmare, that's all. Agnes, you call the police department. Tell them to find Peter. One. Oh no! Young people in love are never hungry. <laughs> Come on, baby. What is she supposed to think, Peter? You say, go back to your bed. very glad to be home. This is like Taylor and Travis. Every front page, every news story. You can't get a thing done around Peter here. Peter Warren was just in. What? He left this money. Does that tell you he was just kidding? Well, where is he? There he goes. Hey, Pete! Hello, Joe. Had me going for a while, too. Wouldn't have made a bad story of that. No, great. But that's the way things go. Think you got a great yarn, and then something comes along and messes up the finish. And there you are. When you sober up, come in and talk to me. Can't end like this. Everything's set, creating quite a furor, too. Great stud king is going to pull. Stud? Yeah, it's landing on the lawn in an auto gyro. Hurry. What's the matter, child? What's wrong? Nothing. You haven't changed your mind about king, have you? Oh, no. What? Yes! <laughs> Aren't you happy? <laughs> I thought so. Oh. What's the matter? There's still time. You haven't fallen in love with someone else, have you? Have you? Where'd you meet him? Now, don't tell me you've fallen in love with the bus driver. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know very much about him, except that I love him. Well, if it's as serious as all that, we'll move heaven and earth to... No, it's no use. He despises me. He's coming to propose to you. He doesn't think so much of you, either. Well, I... He says you, you raise me stupidly. And now, that's a fine man to fall in love with. Oh, he's marvelous. But under the circumstances, don't you think we'd better uh, call this thing off? No, I'll go through with it. Oh, but that's silly. <laughs> I'll never see Peter again. Is that his name? Peter Warren. Peter Warren. Why, do you know him? You haven't heard from him, have you? Don't be silly, of oh, course. Oh, please. I guess that was his only interest in me, wasn't it? The reward. No. Certainly, pay him off. Oh, he's entitled to it. He did an excellent job. Mr. Wesley's on his way up. Fine, have him come in. You happy? Happy? Hey, why shouldn't I be happy? I want our life to be full of excitement. We'll never let up, will we? 
Never a dull moment. To get on a merry-go-round and never get off. Promise you'll never let me get off. Whatever you say, darling, it's a promise. Uh... Hello? Yeah? Who? Oh. Why can't I see you at your office? I thought perhaps you'd uh, like to get this thing settled. But I don't like the idea of putting it on your jam Marie. You can come directly to my study. No, why do I want to... Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe I will come over. I'd like to get a load of that three-ring circuit you're pulling. Yeah, I want to see what love looks like when it's triumphant. I haven't had a good laugh in a week. Yes, sit down. Thanks. Why didn't you think I loved her all the way from Miami for the love of it? She thinks you're entitled to anything you can get. Now, isn't that sweet of her? You don't, I suppose. Gosh, you guys. Cash outlay, $8.60. Top coat, $15. Suitcase, $7.50. Hat, $4. Total, $39.60. All the above items had to be sold to buy gasoline. You want $39.60 in addition to the $10,000. What $10,000? The reward. Who said anything about a reward? I assume that Look, you... look, look. All I want is $39.60. If you give me a check for it, I'll get out of this joint. It gives me the jitter. Oh. She loves you. Do you love my daughter? Any guy that had fallen in love with your daughter ought to have his head examined. She's my idea of nothing. I asked you a simple question. Do you love her? Yes, but well, don't hold that against me. I'm a little screwy myself. Here's to the merry-go-round. <laughs> now you look natural. I hope you got your money. Stay around and watch the fun. You'll enjoy it immensely. I would, but I've got a weak stomach. <laughs> How does this work out? How does this work out? We're gonna have to wait. If any oppose, like that moment, say now or forever hold your peace. So... Dad, you can't let this happen. You're a sucker to go through with this. That guy Warren is okay. All he asked for was $39.60, what he spent on you. Said it was a matter of principle. You took him for a ride. We're telling you this now? He loves you, Ellie. He told me so. You don't want to be married to a mug like Wesley. I can buy him off for a pot of gold. If you change your mind, your car is waiting at the back gate. If any man can show just cause why they may not lawfully be joined together, let him now speak, or else hereafter forever hold his peace. Wilt thou have this woman to thy wedded wife, so long as ye both shall live? I will. Helen, wilt thou have this man to thy wedded husband, so long as ye both shall live? Helen! 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 What happened? I haven't the slightest idea. Hello, my would-be ex-son-in-law. I've sent you a check for a hundred thousand. Yeah, that's the smartest thing you ever did, Wesley, not to contest that annulment. That's satisfactory, isn't it? There's another wire from Peter. They're in Glen Falls, Michigan. What's holding up the annulment, you slowpoke? The walls of Jericho are toppling. <laughs> Just say, let them topple. If you ask me, I don't believe they're married. They married all right. I just seen the license. They made me get them a rope and a blanket on a night like this. What do you reckon that's for? They ain't fine, though. I just brung them a trumpet. Well, what in the world do they want a trumpet for? Dunno. <laughs> Let them topple. Oh my gosh, we didn't even get to see a kiss. Wait, but they didn't kiss on screen back then. No, because I saw Wesley kiss her. Why didn't they give us a kiss? Or her running to him and saying, I didn't marry him, I love you. This walked so How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days could run. Oh, they both are using each other and then they end up falling in love. I really, really enjoyed it. It's weird, you don't even notice it's in black and white after a little. All the tropes like the enemies to lovers and the we have to share a room because there's only one and he thinks he just wants me for my money but he, and he just wants me for my story. It happened here first. Oh and the miscommunication like he left to go get money to propose to her and she thought she just he just left her in the middle of the night. I've seen all this before. I've read it in every romance novel. I've watched it in every rom-com, and this is where they got all the ideas. Or among other classics, I mean. But it was very sweet. I just wish I could have seen them actually reuniting, but it was pretty clever. The walls of Jericho could finally come down. I just wanted a kiss. 
for all the times he said he wanted to sock her or wring her neck, I feel like a kiss would have made up for that a little bit. <sighs> okay, it happened one night. What a good title too. Clark Gable, eh? Hmm. Okay, thank you so much for watching along with me. I'll see you again soon.